But I'm going to send it over to Danielle right now because she is talking with some folks about home improvement. So Danielle, take it away. All right, it's all about home improvement. If you like to do it yourself, you're going to be really intrigued with this segment. I got some three beautiful ladies here, and we're going to get down and dirty. Joining me right now, we've got uh, Kate Fulton, Jessica Hill, and we also got Karen Jane. So ladies, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having us. Okay, this is going to be fantastic because I'm not a do-it-yourself kind of girl. I'm like real basic when it comes to putting projects and things <laughs> together. I need all the help and all the instructions I can get. But for anyone who likes home improvement, you guys have a very unique store with the Stardust Building Supply. So who wants to talk about what your thrift store is involved? I'd be glad to share that. Okay. Um, we have three home improvement thrift stores. They're located mm -hmm. across the valley and they have all sorts of wonderful creative things that folks can use to make things like we have here yeah. on the table. And it's all really easy and simple to do. And you're taking like old building supplies and like reusing them, recycling them, and repurposing them, right? We sure are. Uh, this coming Friday we have an event called Salvage This. Right. And we'll be celebrating reuse at the event. And you'll mm -hmm. see a lot of the things like these at the event. Event, which is a lot of fun. And this is the third annual, right, um, event that you guys are hosting. So what made you guys decide to do something like this? Well, we wanted to be able to share with the community what we do um, mm -hmm. in terms of promoting reuse and have a lot of fun. So Frank Fritz from American yeah. Pickers will be joining us and he'll be sharing all his tips and tricks about picking and salvaging. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be a lot of fun activities and things to do. Now, how can people get involved with this if they want to come out to the event and be a part of it? Would you like to speak on that? How can they yeah, get Yeah, uh, we still have tickets on sale. They're okay. $50 for general admission or uh, $100 for the VIP tickets, which includes the happy hour with Frank Fritz and mm -hmm. the 30-minute presentation he'll be doing. He'll also be doing some autograph signing. Um, but it is a great place to kind of get involved. At the general admission event, we have like a, a make it and take it craft that you okay. can do. Um, we also have games that were all created using salvage materials like um, cabinet doors that we made into a cornhole game. Wow. Um, a ring toss game using recycled bottles. Um, so there's lots of activities that you can get involved with at the event. And Jessica, let me ask you this. When it comes to an event like this, do you have to be somewhat of an already do-it-yourselfer or a pro in the field? Or can it be like someone who's a beginner that wants to just learn? Oh, you can definitely be a beginner. We have just some fun kind of mm -hmm. little um, things to do. Um, we're going to make some cool magnets. And really, we have all the instructions there for you. OK. Um, so I'm actually a volunteer with Stardust. Yeah. Um, so I, I get to come and be a part of the event. But there's lots of ways to get involved. And then can kids come out and be a part of this, too? Or is it only for adults? Kids can come as well. Okay. They're not allowed to go to the VIP happy hour because right. it's a happy hour. Yeah. But um, they are definitely allowed to come to the general mission event. Mm -hmm. And um, again, that's uh, $40, $50. Right. Um, and they can have fun with, you know, see Frank and right. um, kind of get involved with, you know, recycling and mm -hmm. reuse because it's a very important topic. Um, that we really are passionate about. It's our right. mission to divert usable building materials from the landfill. To help people go green in a different kind of way. Because a lot of times when you think about going green, you're thinking about the plastics, the paper bags, or the plastic bags when you go to the store. But nobody ever thinks about building materials, which you can turn into other things, like the different artwork that you have here. Yeah. Now, when it comes to Frank Fritz, I don't know if a lot of people know, but this is the host of American Pickers. And I love that show. The guy has so much personality. Okay. And so he's going to be there. How did you team up with him? Well, we talked to him about how we are promoting reuse, and he does salvaging and picking, and so it seemed like a natural fit. Okay, yeah, he's really good. I mean, if you've ever seen the show American Pickers, I don't know, there's a lot of people who might not have seen the show, but the show is fantastic. You get to go all across the country with them, and they pick up all of these which you would consider sometimes looking at it as junk, but you have to almost have that artist's eye to say, I can turn it into something new again, and then you sell it, and it brings new life to somebody else. So talk about real quick, if you can, Jessica, since you're a volunteer, what are some of the experiences you've seen with this event? Um, well, it's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. We have done it the past couple years in one of their stores. Um, and when you walk in, it, it kind of feels like a warehouse. There's right. all of these different cabinets, um, I'm an interior designer, so when I walk through, I just get to dream all day. Um, so that's where some of these kind of items have come from as well, is um, just walking through and seeing a cabinet door and thinking, gosh, what else could it be? Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty exciting. Um, I also get to um, be a part of the decor for the event. Right. So um, I always have fun finding things and being able to maybe transform them and create centerpieces and, and just showcase them in um, different ways. Well, let's talk about some of the things that you have here on the table. I see little blocks 
you know, we have this, and you see this a lot in uh, department stores, but this right. is something that you can do yourself, obviously, just from recycled materials. And this right here I absolutely love because it's just old nuts and bolts and different things that look like you would find when you're doing plumbing or something in, you know, the garage that was sitting around that you can take and make it, you know. So this kind of stuff, too, like you were saying, the cabinet door, is there a part of it that's also painting? Is there like that kind of arts and crafts with it, too? Um, not at the event, but the, um, the good thanks saying is actually just made out of um, scrap wood wood that you can okay. buy at Stardust and it's been painted and then sanded down and then um, just use a simple paint sharpie paint pen yeah. to put the letters on and it's reversible so on the other side it says jingle bells. Oh so you have letters on both sides. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun and then um, even this is just a set of six coasters and mm -hmm. all we did was take pieces of tile that you can find at a Stardust building store Smart. And, and glue on some um, um, foam backing and it makes a really neat set of coasters which is a great hostess gift yeah. for the holidays coming up. Um, and so there's just a lot of fun things you can do. And you can see a lot of this at Salvage This um, yeah. this coming Friday. And the great part about it is, is you have stuff that's very low key for beginners, so they're not intimidated when they first walk in, to really elaborate things that people who have been doing this for a while can actually do, right? right? Yeah. Oh, sounds like so much fun. I don't know, like I said, I'm not a home improvement person, <laughs> but I think I can at least maybe tackle painting some of these. <laughs> you girls have been great. I wish you the best of luck with the event. Tell everybody real quick, again, the day and time and when they can come out to it. It's Friday, November 6th at the Yard in Tempe, and you can buy tickets at stardustbuilding.org. Oh, you girls are great. Thank you so much. We're gonna continue yeah. the show right now by pitching it back over to Lisa. Oh.